y'all. We are starting this vlog on a Friday afternoon and I am going to a Dodgers game. I've never been to a Dodgers game before, so this is gonna be fun. I'm going with Sarah, Brooke, and Pat. This is my outfit. And then I think I'm gonna get a jersey when I'm there so I can kind of put it over this. We're starting this vlog off by getting outside and doing something fun because there's a hurricane hitting California, which is the weirdest sentence ever. I used to live in Louisiana and dealt with hurricanes all the time. I never thought I would be dealing with a hurricane again, but here we are. So we might as well start by getting outside and enjoying the sun while we Thank you to Patrick for driving. That was really sweet. So welcome. Stunning view from Lot K. We should camp out in Lot K when there's no game. <laughs> we should. Jerseys. So cute. It's coming together real so nice. nice. Follow your gut. I'll fade. We're about to go get some feet. Lovely. It was a fun time. We had a Dodger dog. Mm -hmm. We did lose. Um, but that's completely fine because we were winning the last several games. Mm -hmm. and we've been, As if I didn't learn that the past, yeah. you know. I've been saying it from the beginning. World Series, here we come. Absolutely. Good morning. Last night was so fun. It's always good to switch up your weekends. You don't have to go to a bar. You don't have to go to a party. Like, fuck it, go to a baseball game. Today is what we're gonna call hurricane preparation day. I never thought that I would move from Louisiana to California and have to prepare for a hurricane again. That makes no sense. And you know, to make it even funnier, the Saints are playing a preseason game here this weekend. So it's like they brought the weather with them. This framing might be weird, but I'm not wearing any pants, so I can't stand up. I mean, I could, but it'd just be in my underwear. This is a new canvas. This one that's already painted. I found this on the side of the road, and I was like, that's that's a perfectly good canvas, and I'm gonna take that. Then there's two canvases behind that that I bought at Ross. I think today I wanna plan the one that's gonna go here. I was screenshotting some ideas, like half asleep in bed one night. I kinda think I know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna plan it on Photoshop first. I can't freehand a painting. I have to like plan it out, get the dimensions correct. I think that'll be good to plan it today, and then run to Target and get some things I need because tomorrow and Monday are gonna be rainy days and like what's better than painting inside on a rainy day? This weather calls for me trying to actually start one of these canvases. And also since we don't have a dining table right now because ours broke, I actually have like a free room to paint. I do really want a dining table soon though. Like yesterday. <laughs> Picking up Sarah and we're gonna go to Joanne's and get some supplies because I think she's gonna paint too. And then we're gonna go to Target and get some stuff to eat in the event that we can't leave our house for the next two days. Because as we know, I don't really keep a fully stocked fridge all the time. I'm constantly going to the grocery store. The sky was blue this morning, but it's already started getting a little bit overcast. I think it's supposed to start raining at like 6 a.m. My alarm tomorrow morning is going to be the rain. I am a pretty big homebody, but suddenly I'm not when you tell me that I have to be. If I really wanted to, I could go hunker down at one of my friend's houses for the next two days because Megan is out of town. I think that's why I'm feeling like especially lonely because not only is Megan out of town, but I also am being told to stay inside and not do anything social. It's like a double whammy. Okay, so I designed what I think I'm gonna paint. I was just like messing around on Photoshop, but I love the phrase, can I say something mean? And I think that would be good for me and Megan because she loves pink and we both love going to the movies. And I guess that's not really what a movie ticket looks like, but you know what, I think it's cute. It's kind of like movie-esque. And then I love the phrase, can I say something mean? You're asking permission to talk shit. Like I just think it's such a funny thing. And I've wanted to put that on a sweater before. I think it would also be great on a canvas. I ended up doing an italicized Times New Roman. I'm sorry, I like Times New Roman. It's like the most predictable text, but then italicized, it's like a little bit funkier. You did not ask for me to recommend you a documentary about typography, but if you haven't watched the documentary, I think it's called Helvetica, but it's a documentary about how Helvetica came to be and why it's one of the most like widely used fonts ever. It's an interesting documentary if you care about fonts or if you don't care about fonts, Helvetica is everywhere everywhere you look it is on so much signage it is just one of the most like easily readable sans serif fonts so i also really like helvetica but i i went with the times new roman no one's asking about why am i talking about that cadmium red white 
ultramarine blue to make the pink more purpley and black. Hey yo, understanding color theory chat. <laughs> I'm just kind of questioning all my decisions, but Me like. As well. Right now in my bag at Target, all I have is Coke Zero and edible cookie dough. And I feel like I should get more than just that, but I don't know what. So this is me getting some gas because my mommy told me to. Who mows your lawn? What'd you say? Who mows your lawn? My landlord has gardeners. That's great. Did you just come up? Did you just realize that someone is cutting our grass? Yeah, because you're not doing it. Oh, Megan does it. My little cap broke. Like the plastic just broke. There's just like signs that my car is getting old. Why isn't it going? Oh, because I hit cancel. I literally, I look incapable of knowing how to get gas. Okay, now it's going. Whew. We're gonna go get Subway after this. We're gonna go get Subway after this because I have a oh gift God. card and I want a football. The Target was the most crowded it's ever been. Yeah, and there was no water. Nothing's gonna happen. I, I say that now. That's when you say that, that's when something happens. Yeah, but like, I like, genuinely But I don't it. even feel like we're being cocky because we've lived in Louisiana. I mean, we're actually preparing. And I don't live that close to the ocean. Okay, let's go get some Subway, y'all. Let's go. What do you need? Sorry, no pictures. Sorry, I'm not I'm not accepting photographs. Thank what? One, two, three. Oh, that's too sweet. Be nice. I think it's her second vlog debut. Second time. She's so cute. Famous chai. Well, I know you guys are all wondering what I got, and I got an Italian BMT foot long, Italian BMT <laughs> on long. Italian BMT on the Italian herbs and cheese. I got pepper jack cheese, which I normally get cheddar, but I got pepper jack this time, and I got lettuce, banana peppers, pickles, um, mayonnaise, and the Parmesan vinaigrette. And Sarah basically got the same thing, except no banana peppers. Did you get no pickles? No pickles and no Parmesan vinaigrette this time. This time, but you got oil and vinegar. I did. Okay. We're gonna watch Greek. We're gonna watch Greek. <laughs> If you ever need kind of like the perfect man to kind of like build your ideal man off of, watch Greek and you'll feel the same way about Cappy. Sarah's electricity already went out. <laughs> it's not raining that hard. I told her that I could come pick her up if she wanted me to. We didn't start our canvases at all yesterday. That's gonna be a today activity. Last night I got a fan edit of normal people and it made me really wanna rewatch it today. Even though I know it'll just make me kind of like feel sad. I love normal people. And then I started going down a rabbit hole of like fan edits and then I found, if you haven't seen normal people, you should watch it and you should also read the book. I really wanna rewatch it today. The first time I watched it, I did watch it all in one day. I remember sitting on my parents' couch, started watching it in the morning and I just finished at night because I was so addicted. There's an episode or two where they go to this villa in Italy. It's Marianne's villa. And I looked it up on Airbnb and you can rent it for $54 a night. Isn't that insane? Like they could jack up the price. It is fully booked until July, 2025. Um, so it is going to be tough to kind of go and stay there anytime soon. Why is she not upcharging that? There has to be a reason. <coughs> oh God. I have this video from months ago when I was trying to repaint over this old canvas and I put gesso on top of it and I realize now that I was not using gesso, I was using medium substance that you basically like mix with paint, whatever. In that video, I think I literally say like, oh, why is this clear? Why did I think that this was just like white? And it was because I was using the wrong thing. This is actually gesso. I should have done this yesterday because what you should do, if I'm remembering correctly what I learned in college, a coat of this, stroking it like vertically, let that dry, coat doing it horizontally and you let that dry and then you sandpaper it and then that gives you like a good base and maybe it dries pretty fast I don't remember how long it takes to dry it's like not even raining right now Okay, the outlines of the tickets are traced. 
Now I'm gonna try to mix some paint with some baking soda to kind of give the texture of construction paper. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I think I'm gonna test it on there first to see what the vibe is like, but here's the outline. Well, I went to go pick Sarah up and as soon as we got back to my house, the electricity is now out. So we are gonna go back to her place. I love it, man. I had some gumbo that Sydney made, which was delicious. Sarah and I have been watching Love Island US because we have heard that it's like apparently like super good this season and like really juicy. I just got back from Sarah's. My electricity is still out. I'm obsessed. I literally, I knew it as soon as I turned down my street. I was like, this street is looking too dark. The other side of the street is fine. It's just our side of the street. And my neighbors were like walking in their front yard with flashlights. And I talked to them about it and they're like, yeah, for some reason it's just our side of the street. So I'm annoyed mostly because of our fridge because I opened the fridge when I got back home and like put a few things in it. And like, you can just tell like the cold almost fully gone. So my room isn't that hot. It's more so just like being in like a stagnant room there's no airflow and I can't even like turn on a fan. I just need something to like move the air around. Like it feels just like very stuffy and stagnant. So it's probably gonna be hard for me to fall asleep. And then I also have to be up and go to a set tomorrow and like be awake and like peppy. That's gonna kind of suck because I just like already know I'm like not gonna get a good night's sleep. We're building character. That's all we're doing. For all of the times you guys have ever seen me brush my teeth on this channel, you've never seen me brush my teeth when my electricity is out. I think that this is kind of a special time for all of us here. I look so spooky. It looks like I'm about to start telling a scary story. Oh, look at my shadow. That's kind of fun. Oh, I guess I'll attempt to wash my face and stuff in the dark. I'm not gonna make you guys witness that. Okay, so the electricity did come back on in the middle of the night. I mean, right now, none of my lights are on but it works. I don't know, I just like leaned over in the middle of the night and tried to turn on my AC and it worked. I have no clue what time it came back on. And now I'm wondering like if I need to throw things away in my fridge because it was losing coolness. So that's something to decide later today. I'm not doing that right now. I have to drive to Glendale right now and I actually think I'm about to be late. Okay, no, it's still saying 30 minutes. I'll be right on time. I am so sorry that this vlog has gone on for more days than I would like because I am already at the next week where I'm going back to the Dodger Stadium and I'm going to the Blackpink concert. I have a necklace that says Blackpink on it and I'm wearing all black. And then I have these pink bows in my hair. I did it myself. So if it's a little crooked, then forgive me. I'm really excited. I watched the Netflix documentary today. I've been listening to the set list. I was watching music videos. So I've gotten pumped up all day and I'm so excited to see them. I've never seen them live. For everyone wondering, Rosie is my favorite. My bias, as one might say. I am a blink, but I'm not like the most knowledgeable, like hardcore blink. I do really like them. I'm not on that side of Stan Twitter. It's kind of scary to identify as a fan of a group when they're like hardcore fans. So I'm a blink. I'm a, I'm a baby blank. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, me and Megabug are ready to go. There's the unfinished painting in the back, of course. Gorgeous. Also pink. Here are our outfits. I've got my pink. 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 I'm Rosie. Lisa. Lisa. She saw him at Coachella. I'm literally like blink of the century. We're pretty big blinks so now that I think about <laughs> no, it. No, we saw the movie. We, oh yeah, we saw the music. Movie. Yeah. We, we saw him in concert. We not the movie on Netflix. We drove to Burbank to see I forget what it was even called. They're like concert movie. Yeah, it was like only in, in at the Burbank Theater. We went and it was packed. And then there were other blinks there as yes, well. Yes, fully I, dressed up. We weren't. So maybe we're not blinks of the century. But that's pretty good.
final show back in Seoul for the end of our tour, but this is our last show here in the U.S. We met so many amazing blinks around the world, and today is our final day to say thank you. We sat in the parking lot trying to leave for about an hour and a half. That was kind of awful, but we're home now. It's almost 1 a.m. And I had a great time. We didn't get any merch because the lines were so long. And if we want something, we'll just order it online or just like get something off of Etsy instead. Their merch is really expensive. I mean, all merch is really expensive. Their shit is really expensive. I really like this hairstyle though. I'm definitely gonna wear that again with the bows. That was really cute. I mean, after a while, it does kind of start hurting my scalp. And I forgot about this top. I used to wear this top all the time. I feel like 2021, a little bit 2022. And then I just forgot about it. I need to start wearing it again. It's so fun. Ow. Mm. These are those little plastic hair ties. And it's, oh my fucking, I need to just break it. Fuck me. One done. If you haven't listened to Blackpink, I hope this is your sign to listen to them. You need to give them a try. Oh my God. That one just literally ripped out. They are just so talented and so fun and just so cool. I recommend watching the documentary on Netflix. You get to know them. You get to hear some of the songs in the documentary. You get to learn about how the band formed. After you finish the documentary, you need to go on YouTube and you need to watch all of their music videos because no one's doing it like them. What happened to pop stars that were dancing as much as they are singing? Like we don't need any more girls on the guitar singing on stage. As much as I love them, we need some bitches with a microphone coming out of their ear. We need someone hands-free on stage dancing their ass off and also singing. I want you to dance as hard as you're singing. You know what I mean? Actually, I want you to dance more than you're singing. Bring back lip syncing a little bit, dare I say. We don't need anyone holding a microphone anymore, okay? We don't need anything on a mic stand. They know how to do it and they're doing it well. They're doing it better than any anyone in America. I can't even sing along to the songs for the most part. Most of it's in Korean and I love them. I wonder how much I would like them if I could speak Korean. If I could speak Korean, game over. If I'm this passionate about them and I don't even know what the fuck they're saying, like, you know that they're good. Their songs just make you want to fucking, like, mmm. This was just going to be a painting video, but I've been messaging this girl on Facebook Marketplace all day. I think we're gonna get a table today. It's a table from West Elm, and I've actually seen this exact model sell a few different times on Facebook Marketplace, and my theory is that it's like an $1,000 table, which is expensive, but it's actually decently priced for the size table it is and the brand that it is. I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, why is it being resold so many times? Like, is there something wrong with this model? My theory is that people buy it when they're trying to furnish their apartment beyond like their first apartment right out of college. Like they're actually like putting money into their space, but they're not putting too much money into the space. I feel like it's kind of a good in-between table. You're a few years out of college, but you're not like rolling in cash. And that's why I think people are reselling it because they don't feel the need to keep it and move to the next apartment. Like that would actually be more cumbersome. So they just resell it and it would make more sense to just buy a new one entirely to elevate their space into a nicer table. So I don't know. I just feel like it's this like weird in-between thing for a dining table. Anyways, it's perfect for me. She is going to give it to me for $500. So I'm getting it 50% off. Obviously there's like a few scratches and stuff, but like $500 for a West Elm table is pretty good and I think it fits perfectly in our space and I have measured the chairs and looked at the dimensions of the table online and I think the chairs are going to slide underneath it and that is what I want. I have been messaging this girl all day. I'm so scared that someone's going to come in and message her and offer more money so I'm just like really hoping that she lets us come get it tonight. So I think we're going to get a table by the end of this vlog. I am putting off finishing the painting. I will admit I don't want to do it today. I'm not going to do it today. As a peace offering I am going to open this package for you guys instead. If you're familiar with this confetti, you would know that this is from Taylor Swift's official store. I got an Aeros Tour t-shirt because I did not wait in line at the stadium. I just like didn't feel like it. And you know what? I was fine just getting something off the website. We have an XL Aeros Tour t-shirt. And of course, I got the Speak Now cardigan. I have the Folklore one and I have the Red Taylor's version one. And I was like, okay, fine, let's fucking, let's get it. They have increased the prices of these cardigans like drastically since Folklore. Like I think I literally got Folklore for like $45 or something. And this was like 70. I just knew I had to have it, okay? And I'm gonna continue to buy every single cardigan that she comes out with, unfortunately. It's like, I didn't need this, but I have the Folklore one and I have the red one. And so I had to get this. I don't have the Evermore one and I don't have that third like grayish green one that's like not associated with an album that like no one knows what the fuck that was for. I just felt like I had to get it. It's actually pretty soft. Anyways, I am praying in the next clip 
that we are getting a table. Big night. I'm like getting a table at 8 p.m. So I actually did this all on purpose. Um, <laughs> you've been watching an episode of the rehearsal for this moment right here. Not that I wanted the table to break, but like this is, I think, a nicer table and like probably cuter. And the other one was dingier than we thought too. Like there were stains. Like, yeah, but I liked the table. I liked the color. I liked how sturdy it was. If it can't handle like a 20 pound woman, then right. They Perfect. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Is that like one of the easier deliveries? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely pretty no. Yeah. That was the hardest one actually. <laughs> Are we your last one? No, we're at 9 30. Oh, yeah, oh gosh. Okay, yeah. look at that. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Nice to see you guys. Have a good night. 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 Have a to die for. Oh my god. Okay, well, next we're going to the store. We need to buy flowers because we finally can put flowers on here again. Wait, let's see what it feels like. This is, this is great. <laughs> Look how good it looks in the morning light. If you remember when I got the last table and it was like a whole thing about how the chairs couldn't slide under, this is the perfect table for these chairs. And I just feel like this table overall fits better in this room because the last one was like a little bit too big. I wasn't obsessed that the last one broke, but like at least something good came of it because this this table is much better for this room. I'm really not in the mood to paint that today. The hardest part will be getting the paint correct. And then after that, I feel like the lettering will be pretty easy. Like it'll be hard to get the letters like centered and everything. But after that, it's like literally just painting it black. I've been putting it off and I think today's the day that I have to suck it up. Imagine how good it's going to feel when I hang that on that wall. We have a table and then that wall won't feel as blank. I will feel so accomplished and fulfilled and we need to do it because we know the feeling after we're done is going to be worth it. Sorry Snoopy, you can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof. Popping in from the future to let you know that there are prints available. A lot of people were requesting that I turn this into a print, and so that'll be linked below. You can buy it on my Etsy. There are framed posters, posters not framed, as well as stickers. All of those options are available to you if you want to purchase. I didn't plan to turn the painting into prints. So many people asked that I do that, which is like really quite shocking and very kind. So if you are interested in purchasing one, that'll be linked below. And thank you for even liking it. And that is the end of the video. This dragged on much longer than I intended. Everything always takes longer than you think it will. Painting is complete. We have a dining table and now our dining room feels fully complete. We have something on the wall. We have somewhere to eat. Really excited to go into fall and start working at this table again because I really missed it. I already posted this on Instagram. Since having a following, I've never like made a painting and shared it online. So I really didn't know how people were going to react and I was really happy that it was positive and people liked it. I guess no one was gonna say it was shitty, but like they could have. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, which is now X, Snapchat, and Letterboxd. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you are really quite kind. And with that, this is goodbye.